Welcome to another episode of Behind the Bumpers with the FRC Top 25. We're here in Cleveland at the Buckeye Regional. We're in the pits with 340. We're with Taylor, Zach, and Katie, and we're, we're with the robot. So, guys, thanks for doing this interview. We really appreciate that. Um, Zach, could you talk about maybe um, your drive and what kind of motors, transmissions, all that kind of stuff you use in your drive? We have a six-wheel West Coast with a two-sim super shifter. Our little pneumatic back here triggers the shifting, and our, all our chain runs are internal. It's a lot safer, a lot cleaner. And then our middle wheel has an eighth-inch drop center, so we're only on four wheels at a time. It gives us a much smaller turning radius and helps with a lot of other things. Well, that's great. Thanks, Zach. I uh, noticed there's a shooter up here. Um, who wants to talk about the shooter? Katie? All right. So our shooter is run by a mini sim that has a 30 to 18 ratio on a 6-inch pneumatic wheel. And we actually are Frisbees into the shooter by this window motor that this swings around and hits the Frisbees up. We load through a method we like to call the waterfall, and it uses gravity to the first Frisbee will fall in. And after it's pushed up through the shooter, the next one will fall down. Now, you guys have one of the most unique 30-point climbers out there. Um, Taylor, could you explain to us maybe how the idea came about and how you execute that idea? Sure. It all started with a pro, uh, cardboard prototype in which it featured this idea of weight shifting in order to get across, these, across the bars. And with this system, we have a 35-pitch chain drive with a, powered by a PG-75. And... We shift our weight forward, pick up on the bar, shift our weight back, then tilt it in. And once it tilts in, we pull, pull ourselves up with a two-sim tough box powered by a 35-pitch chain. To prevent the whole system from back driving, we have a mountain bike disc brake and a caliper. And then the wire from the caliper comes up and it's powered by a pneumatic cylinder, one stroke, one inch stroke. Um, these hooks here bend in to get over the bar, so the top hook switches to the bottom bar and then pulls back up and goes for the next bar. Well, that's really awesome. Do you think you can take us through a, like a dry run of the climb sequence? Sure, no problem. So first we start out with a shotgun, we call comes back, gets into the line position, we pull up on the 10 point, go up, tip into the 20 point, weight shift forward, get around the bar, weight shift back. Right now we're almost at our, our 20 point level. Um, shift weight shift back, pull up for the 30, and now we're here at the 30. Wow, that's really a slick sequence there. Can you, can you, Katie, can you talk about what this does for us? Um, this is, it's just a flap that every time we weight shift forward, it'll fall out over our bumper. So that we had a problem when this weight shifts all the way forward, there's a gap between our bumper and it would fall perfectly with the bar right here. The bar would slide in, so this just simply slides out, covers our bumper, and allows us to pull smoothly over. Awesome, guys. Well, thanks for taking us through your robot. We really appreciate it. You got a, you got a great machine, and good luck this weekend at the Buckeye Regional. Um, again, this is Mike and Justin with the FRC Top 25 uh, and uh, 221 Robotic Systems. Thanks a lot.